Hey guys, welcome to Audio Modeling. I'm doing this video to show you the Swarm Engine Trumpet because I love it and I want to show you a little bit more the inner workings of it. So firstly, let me show you. I don't want to blow my own trumpet. <laughs> I actually do want to blow my own trumpet. B flat is quite a high note for a trumpet player, but not for this instrument. Check out. See? <laughs> e flat. Anyway, I don't know if you realize the amount of um, detail that you can get out of this instrument. First up, a few things about the controls. So basically, you have a monophonic sound that will react to, of course, how much pressure I put into the breath controller by techcontrol.se. And uh, this is, of course, not the only way to control the expressiveness of the sound. You can also use whatever controller or maybe a pedal or maybe the aftertouch, whatever is comfortable with you. I have set it up the way I like it because I can. So firstly, this is the control. Remember, this is all modeled. There are no samples in here. So it actually, it, uh, it, it's an algorithm, quite a complicated one, that uh, models the piping, the embouchure, the breath, the keys, and all of that. I don't, this is black magic, man. I don't know how to do it. Anyway, so the expressiveness uh, controlled by this breath control allows me to do this. Also to do like a natural vibrato. But you also have another control for the vibrato, which is this one. Which is a little bit like uh, Louis Armstrong. It's quite cool, right? But that's not all. So the, the instrument will uh, react to how fast I am hitting the note. So it can be or but especially it will react to how hard I hit the note going from one note to the other. Because of course when you play the trumpet and you change key there is a way that the trumpet goes from one note to the next. So if I play fast It will do that. But if I play slow, you get it? Let me show it to you on a wider range. Or if I go fast, so this is one of the ways uh, the instruments can be controlled. But, you know, let me show you actually inside of the interface. Say, for example, I've got this growl control, which I will uh, just play manually right now. This I can assign to anything. Like, all I need to do is uh, go to the growl control. So I'm going to press the aftertouch here, right? So now it has learned it. I can go back. And now when I use the aftertouch, I can do this. It's quite cool. I mean, to me, even that I can watch what happens with the keys here, this is, this is magic because I always wonder how trumpet players actually do it. It's a combination of the harmonics that they, they produce with the lips and of the length of the piping, which changes with every, every combination of keys. So that alone to me is a, is a learning uh, tool, quite important. So let me show you what I can do here. So. I've got the expression, who's clearly controlled by my breath controller right now, but also you can have the amount of vibrato here, but how about the vibrato rate? So you can go very slow, or you can go fast. 
right? So you can really customize it to however you like it. There is the attack noise. There is the attack tongue. There is the flutter tongue. Of course, I can assign this to anything I want. I've got the growl that I showed you before. Reactivity, mute control. Oh, let me, you know what? Let me show you the mutes, right? So, for example, how about if I click here, now I get the straight mute. The straight mute is the one that you slot into the trumpet, and it sounds a bit like this. You can even control the timbre here. See? And then there is the mute cup tone. Uh, let me go to the mute cup for that, uh, which is what? This one? This is the harmon mute. See, I can control the distance. When something funny happens, you go like that. Like, oh. <laughs> Do you know what? Can I assign it to something? I just want to assign it to the modulation, right? So then I go back, the vibrato, I unassign, and now I'm controlling. I have different types of cups here. What have I got? I've got the, I don't know what it's called. It's called cup one mute. Let's see the cup mute, if I can change the timbre of it. Yes. It changes slightly the tone of it. Also, I've got the breath noise. Can you hear it? Maybe you might want to wear headphones at this point. And also the dirtiness. This is a instrument that you can shape to your liking so that you can really dig into it and make the sound perfect for you. I really love it. I really invite you to check Audio Modeling's Swarm Trumpet. There will be a link in the description. Go on their website. This technology is amazing. I'm so proud of Audio Modeling. You guys are great. This technology is so futuristic. I don't even know how you do it. I will play this for a long time, and I hope that you guys find as much inspiration as I do with this toy. Bye-bye from Dr. Mix.